Guys, I'm gonna break some hearts today, okay? This video is gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough and I'm gonna warn you in advance, okay? But because I'm gonna shatter some dreams based on all your favorite reality TV shows. But it's a series. This is gonna be part of our, um, you know, sort of, uh, I call it myth busters, but that's a real thing. So it's not that because I don't have that trademark, but it's like, we're like myth, myth busting inside of the real estate industry today. And um, I hope I don't crush you, but if I do, then, um, well, it's been real, everyone. The subject matter of today's video is open houses. And we're gonna talk about what they are what they are not, and you're gonna cry. <clears throat> so, before we do that, uh, if you guys need real estate help, 1911syndicate.com. It is linked in the video description, always. You can always just go there and we've got any important stuff that you should know. Subscribe to the channel and um, yeah, that's about it. So, let's talk about open houses. S sellers of homes, right, if you're selling a home, it is an almost universal truth that you are going to want an open house done. And the reason you want that done is because you've been conditioned from reality TV shows to think that open houses are awesome. And it's where big shit happens. Big shit happens at open houses, everyone. Okay. Let me tell you what happens at open houses. You have food trucks, right? You might have a like a special like bouncy house for children to jump and play inside of and spread diseases and things like that. Not actual diseases, just dirt from children, just, you know, whatever dirt and grime that kids have on, on them. Um, they might have, we might have live animals there, right? We might have a miniature pony that everyone can pet. We might have live music, right? Some playing a, a guitar and singing love songs to make you fall in love with the house, right? Subliminal messages in there. We might have, uh, th none of this is in my notes. I'm just telling you things that I, I don't even know why I'm looking at the notes. Um, you know, these are the kind of things. Cupcakes, for sure, right? We, we need cupcakes. We need the house to smell like fresh baked freaking cookies, everyone, because that's how you sell a goddamn house. Um... So, reality TV shows have conditioned you to think that this is what it is, and that your agent is gonna be in like their best three-piece suit, and they have sent flyers and run magazine ads, and it's just pure chaos, right? And it's awesome, and there might even be fights between local rival agents that break out. And unfortunately, none of this is actually the case of what happens at open houses. If you live in like a Manhattan of the world or Los Angeles, you might see this Rarely, rarely. And if you do see this, it's probably because there's a TV camera there for HGTV or the Bravo network, right? So that's the kind of times when you would actually see this stuff. Let me tell you the reality of a down and dirty open house. It's not about selling your house, everyone. It's not, okay? It's not about having a food truck and live music. It's not. People that are interested in buying your house could care less if you have an open house because someone who's interested in buying your house, they're going to make an appointment via their real estate agent and they're going to show up and do a private showing of your house. They don't care about the open house. It might be conveniently timed where it's like, oh, cool, we were going to make an appointment to look at the house on Saturday anyway, so we'll just show up between the hours of 10 and 1 p.m., which is kind of like the traditional open house time frame. But let's talk about what an open house actually is. It is a marketing opportunity, everyone. Like, bad news, guys. It's not about selling your house. It's not. It's a marketing opportunity. It, not for your house. It's not a oppor marketing opportunity for your house. It's a marketing opportunity for the agent at the open house. Do you know why they're there? To find unrepresented buyers. Case in point, if you guys ever go to open houses, because there are people, and no judgment on my part, like for some reason you like going to open houses. Like it's just, it's like a thing that you like to do on Saturday sometimes. You go around to open houses. More power to you, right? And if you've ever done this, 
you will frequently be asked to sign in. You will walk in the front door and it's almost like <gasps> there's an agent right there with a little goofy table and they've got a sign in sheet, right? And they've got their best polo and, you know, blazer on or, or, or uh, pants suit and, you know, for the females and, and things. And they're like, hey, please sign in. And you do it. Oftentimes, you will put down a fake phone number, as would I, because why would I put down my fake phone, or why would I put down my real phone number for a stranger? You know, why would I, I'm not going to do that. Um, so now, oftentimes, they're going to hit you if you're like, why do you need me to sign in? Oftentimes, they're going to say, if they're good, if they're experienced at this, um, they're going to say, oh, the sellers just want to know who comes through the open house today. No, they don't. No, they don't, guys. I've never had a seller be like, hey, look, straight up, the open house, um, we're super paranoid, and we want to know the name and the telephone number of everyone that comes through this open house. Here is this form, and we expect you to have everyone that walks through that door sign in so that we know who came through our house. Doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. If they were that paranoid, they wouldn't do the open house. They wouldn't let the strangers come in their house. Because you know what a name and a phone number accomplishes? Nothing. You know what it does accomplish? For the sellers, accomplishes nothing. You know what it accomplishes? It gives the agent a phone number to be able to follow up with to go, oh, hey, Peggy Joe, uh, you came through my open house on Saturday. I was just wondering, hey, do you have a real estate agent? Because that's how the call is going to go. Spoiler alert. They're going to be like, oh, thanks so much for, for coming by. Like, do you guys like the house? And it doesn't matter what you say because they're not interested in you buying the house. They're interested in getting to the money question, which is do you guys have an agent? If they were being up front with you, they would just ask that or just send a text and just be like, yo, dude, if I'm cutting to the chase, do you guys have an agent or not? I know you guys were looking at open houses. Do you guys have an agent or do you guys want to use me? That's what, that's what they're trying to get to. Okay. So an open house is a marketing opportunity, not for the seller's home, for the agent to try to find unrepresented buyers. Now the real soul crushing part, it's the real soul crushing part. It's going to get even worse guys. Most open houses, are not even hosted by the listing agent. Maybe I shouldn't say most, many, many open houses. When you walk in and the guy at the table who's like, can you sign in today? Um, I, you know, I don't know if they do this motion, but some, some of them may. Um, that agent is, the, if, if, if you look, right, because many of them will wear goofy name tags. It's just how the real estate industry works. You wear a name tag like you're, I, like, I, I don't know what, what other profession, but like you work at Best Buy, dude, or are you a real estate agent? Why are you wearing a name tag? Um, but if you look at the name of the agent on the sign in the front yard, that's the listing agent. And then you look at the goofy name tag on the polo shirt and you're like, well, Brad is the name on the shirt, but Larry's the guy on the sign. So who's Brad? I'll tell you who Brad is. Brad's the guy looking for the marketing opportunity to find up unrepresented buyers. Larry... Larry's out playing golf, right? Or maybe he's a hustler and he's out, he's got multiple listings or he's got buyer clients he's got to take around town on Saturday. But Larry is not there. Brad, with the name tag, you know what he is? He's a newer agent or an agent who just hasn't broken through yet. And he needs what we call a DMO, a daily method of operation. He needs a marketing technique to go find business. And open houses are that technique for a lot of people. Guys, I will concede. Okay, while my business currently involves, I've never done a cold call in my entire life. Um, you know, I used to do open houses because when I first got my license before I went into the, the niche realm of military law enforcement and all this, all this kind of stuff, um, I needed something to do. And I, I enjoyed being face to face with people more than I did trying to hammer telephone calls all day which is a real thing. And so I would host open houses. Like they weren't my listings. I was a guy just trying to meet people that needed a real estate agent, right? That's what open houses are, everyone. Like I hate to break it, break it to you. Everything that you think they are, they are not. They are not the thing that you think it is. Open houses do not sell houses. They might, but they don't sell it any better than it would have sold without the open house. What? Like what? I know some real estate agents at some point, maybe two years from now, if our channel's doing decent, might see this video and they're like, I cannot believe this jerk said all this stuff in this video. Yeah? Y am I wrong? Am I wrong? Not wrong? Like I'm not wrong. You, you know. See, you would have a dog like this, 
a lazy dog like this at an open house and it's just a reason for people to show up and get, and get the pet a dog. They're not gonna buy the house. Okay, so should you do an open house? Let's wrap this stupid video up. Should you do an open house? Yes. Because why not? Because there's no harm. That, that's the answer. There's no harm. Why, why not do it? Yeah, you got a piece out of your house for three hours on a Saturday. Eh, you're going to have to do that anyway. There's going to be showings on Saturday anyway. So may as well. We may as well do one. There's no point in not doing it. You just need to understand exactly what it is and what it is not. It is not so much the thing that's going to sell your house. It is the thing that is going to allow me to maybe meet some potential business. And who knows? Maybe some that was going to make an appointment and come through your house and make an offer. Maybe they come through the open house. But again, they were going to come regardless. So, ah, the notes didn't go far today. So anyway, everyone, that's it. Um, I hope everyone is doing well. Stay healthy. Stay buzzed. Uh, wear your masks, um, you know, if that's your thing. And, uh, you know, stay off the streets. You know, that, that's all the good stuff. So everyone be well, and uh, we'll see you soon. Stupid dog face is what you got.